right, guys. Welcome to Deska Discusses or MJ Deska Productions. Just trying to think of a new name for my channel, so just bear with me. I've had this channel for a while now, and I've got a few bits and pieces on it. You've probably seen documentaries and a couple of ads for a few friends that I've made. It's nothing major, but I'm thinking about branching out and doing some movie reviews and TV reviews and game reviews just because I enjoy the topics and obviously playing video games. Um, to come up with the first idea for a movie review, it was quite difficult to like think about what to do. Everyone was like, well, you should do something new. I just recently saw Creed 2, which was pretty good in my book. Um, but then I'm like, hang on, why do Creed 2 when I can do something that I... Well, not that I'm not a huge fan of Creed 2, but why not do something else that I've seen a few more times? So I decided to go with something like First Blood. Yep. John Rambo, Sylvester Stallone, 1982, the same year that Rocky III came out. Ah, Peter the Fool! Yep, good old Mr. T. Now, what this whole channel is about, look, spoiler alert if you haven't seen First Blood, starring, obviously, Sylvester Stallone. I'm not going to go into the whole storyline, but there will be spoilers, obviously. IMDb says, Former Green Braid John Rambo is pursued into the mountains, surrounding a small town by a tyrannical, sh tyrannical chef and his deputies. Forcing him to survive using his combat skills. Just read that off the screen, guys, so I just thought I'd let you know. Uh, look, that's basically what it is. A Special Forces Marine walking through a town called Hope in America and uh, gets stopped by the sheriff. The sheriff doesn't like the look of him, just wants to get something to eat, you know, and he's like, no, on your way, get on your bike or get it. I'll give you a lift to the bridge to the uh, border of this state or whatever it is, and you can just make your merry way. Rambo doesn't like that and gets arrested. So yeah, gets arrested and then what we've got is a uh, quite full on scene where Rambo has these flashbacks to the Vietnam War which is, I remember as a kid watching this were quite, I thought these were, were, were pretty scary moments for me. Just like seeing like the graphic detail is one of them. I remember they said cut it out of TV where this knife goes across his chest which was pretty full on. Um, they still always cut that out so when I saw it later on I don't know, probably about 13, 14, 15. Um, I, I was like, whoa, they never showed that on TV. The whole film itself isn't that violent. I mean, that whole scene where he does break out of jail is quite, you know, he takes out all of them by himself on their home ground, you can say. He then gets away um, from Teasel, which is played by Brian Dennehy, the uh, sheriff, using a motorbike and other means, obviously, gets into the mountains, and then it's a giant manhunt from there. Now, you've probably seen it heaps of times in other films, but. I guess, I guess you could say that First Blood, in 1982, after what had happened in the 70s in America, the ideologies of, I guess you could say, the Vietnam War, war sorry, were obviously still relevant, and this film did go into the whole thing about post-traumatic stress disorder as well. And as the film keeps going on, you see, you find out more about Rambo, you find out more about his background, because obviously, you know, the whole, the, the sheriff's department's after him, and then they call in the army as well. And then we were introduced to Colonel Trotman, played by Richard Crenna, who's a, um, obviously Rambo's, well, he's, 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 he's drill sergeant or officer, commanding officer, whatever they want to call it, yeah. Colonel Trotman. You can't forget this character either. He's just a really, really great character and the way he goes about telling Diesel about the history about Rambo as well. Now, as the film goes on, obviously, um, they try all their means to get Rambo and capture him, and they corner him into this uh, minefield there. But before we get uh, mine, mine shaft, sorry, but before we get into all that, the best scenes um, were obviously the jail getaway, the forest hunt between the sheriff and his officers and his deputies, you can say, through the forest where Rambo picks them off one by one was quite memorable as well, before we get to the scene that I was just talking about. Um, that was pretty full on as well. Then you've got the truck bursting through the roadblock after Rambo gets out of the mine shaft, and then the final confrontation with Teasel was okay. Now he blows up the petrol station, blows up the ammo, uh, the, the guns, ammunition place or whatever. But I think one of the key scenes here is definitely the last scene with Trubman and, and John Rambo in the police building where basically Trubman just tells him, It's over, Johnny. It's over. Nothing is over! Nothing! You just don't turn it off! I thought that scene there, and as a kid I never understood what he was 
actually discussing, but then as you get older, you, uh, you understand what he's saying, and then he breaks down and starts crying and telling us his story about his maid that puts his, puts his foot in the shoebox and it explodes. And it's pissed out of I go home. Yeah, I don't want to make fun of it, but that's what it sounds like as a kid. I couldn't understand what was going on. First Blood, Rambo, 1982, I give it a solid 8 out of 10. It was a classic from the 80s. The score is amazing as well. Now, there was Rambo 2, 3, and then there was Rambo, and then now they're making the new one, which is called Last Blood, which should be interesting as well. Now, a lot of people um, tend to look, not look down at these films, but think of Stallone as just, oh yeah, action film star, you know, not much in it. You know, what, what, what is it to these films? The Expendables? Rambo, Rocky, etc. But if you look past all that and you look at this film specifically, there's a lot of things about this that are actually important. They're actually important. And um, they show the post traumatic stress disorder syndrome, uh, the post traumatic stress disorders in this, and the flashbacks. It was a different take on, I guess you could say, the topic of the Vietnam War. Could you call this, you know, First Blood a Vietnam War film? I mean, is it in the same. League, or is it in the same genre you could say as Platoon, Full Metal Jacket, Apocalypse Now, The Deer Hunter? I, I, I really don't think so, but it is part of that, I guess it's part of that group of films that discuss the Vietnam War, right? So if you want to like, if you want to comment on it, go ahead, comment on it in the comments below. Um, subscribe if you like, I'll try to bring out videos as quick as I can. But yeah, let me know what you think about that. Is First Blood Rambo a Vietnam War film? I think it's still important for an American cinema and Hollywood cinema and world cinema because you've got Rocky Balboa, yes of course, you know, the uh, underdog story, but then you've got Rambo here who just wanted something to eat and someone didn't like the look of him. So stick around now after this, this was Daska's discussions, stick around where I try and attempt to do some impressions from some scenes just to lighten the mood a bit. Hope you enjoyed this. If you want to uh, subscribe, if you want to like the video, go ahead. I don't think you understand. I didn't come to rescue Rambo from you. I came to rescue you from him. Well, we all appreciate your concern, Colonel. I'll try to be extra careful. I'm just amazed he allowed any of your posse to live. Is that right? Strictly speaking, he slipped up. You're lucky to be breathing. That's just great. Colonel, you come out here to find out one of your machines blew a gasket? You don't seem to want to accept the fact that you're dealing with an expert in guerrilla warfare. With a man who's the best with guns, with knives, with his bare hands. A man has been trained to ignore pain, ignore weather, to live off the land, to eat things that'll make a belly go puke. In Vietnam, his job was to dispose of enemy personnel. To kill! Period. Win by attrition. Well, Rambo was the best. I could have killed them all. I could have killed you. And Tanya. Out here it's me. Don't push it. Don't push it or I'll give you a war you wouldn't believe. Let it go. Let it go.